Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Quiet. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 1466 reorder routes to make all paths lead to the city zero. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, in this problem, we are given a directed graph, right? And the cities that we are given is from 0 to n minus 1. So, basically, we are numbered from 0 to 5 here. We have 6 cities here. So, we are numbered from 0 to 5, right? So, we need to make all the directions pointed towards the 0, right? So, for example, these blue directions are pointing opposite side of the 0, right? So, we need to change these arrows pointing towards the 0. 0 is like the capital. That is the main node, right? So, we need to return the minimum edges need to be changed. So, here we change 3 edges. So, we need to return 3 at the end, right? Now, we will see how we are going to do this. So, initially, I have created a graph dictionary of list. So, here I have taken this particular graph as a bidirectional graph. I am creating the dictionary of list such that for both the possibilities. So, here 1 and 0 is connected, right? I am writing both the possibilities, 0 and 1. Here, I am not treating it as a directed graph, right? So, I am just keeping it for both the possibilities in the graph dictionary list. Then, I will be having a connection set where I will be having the unique connections from the input. So, basically, this is the input, right? I am creating another set separately to have the unique connections. And we are going to solve this problem using DFS approach, depth first search. So initially, I will be having three variables. That is the final result variable, which is initialized as zero. Then I will start from the capital that is zeroth node, right? So zeroth node doesn't have a parent node, right? It is something like final node. So initially, I keep parent for zero node as minus one, right? So now we will start. So initially, I will check my current parent that is minus 1 and the current node 0. Whether this particular connection is present in my connection set or not. If it is present, I will add 1. Else, I will add 0. Right? So here it is not present. So I will add 0 to my result variable. Now I will visit the neighbors of my node 0. So, node 0's neighbors are 1 and 4 here, right? So, first I will pick 1. Now, we need to check whether 1 is the parent of the current node 0. We need to compare both the parent, the current parent of 0 and 1, the neighbor, right? If both the parent and the current neighbor are equal, I will just continue. Else, I will visit 1. Right? Now, I make my current parent as 0 and current node as 1. Now, I will do DFS on this particular combination. So, parent is 0 and node is 1. Now, I need to check whether this connection is present in my connections input list. Yes, it is present, right? We have here. So, we need to add 1 to my result variable. So, basically, we are adding the edges that is opposite towards my 0. Right? Here, 0, 1 are in opposite direction. So, we are adding that to my result. Now, I need to visit the neighbors of 1. So, neighbors of 1 are 0 and 3. So, first, I will pick 0. Since 0 is the parent of 1, I will just continue, right? I don't do DFS on this. Next, I will pick the node 3. Now, I need to check whether the parent is equal to my current neighbor 3. No, it is not equal, right? So, I will make parent as the current node 1 and the current node as current neighbor 3. Now, I will do DFS on this combination. So, now I need to check 
whether one comma three that is parent and the current node is present in my connections input yes we have right we have the connections so we will increase the result variable by one now i need to visit the neighbors of current node three so the neighbors of current node are one and two so first i will pick one one is equal to the parent right so i will just continue then i will pick two now the parent is not equal to my current neighbor two so i will make my current parent as three and current node as two that is the neighbor now i need to check whether three comma two the connection is present or not that is in the opposite direction connection right it is not present in our connections input right it is correctly connected towards the zero so we will add zero to my result so it is going to be two as the same so like that if you keep on doing this and when we reach here we will add one again since it is in the opposite direction right so finally we will be returning three so the time complexity will be order of n and space will be order of n as well since we are using a recursive stack and we are storing the input connections so now we will code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys initially we will be having our result variable as zero then we will be having the connection set that is a row right then we need to create the connections graph where i will be having the default dictionary of list right then i treat these connections as a bidirectional graph right in such way i will store that in my graph where I will be appending for both the nodes, the connections. And also I will store these connections in my road set. Right? Then I will write the DFS function where I will be having the current node and the parent. Right? So initially I will check if that particular connection is present in my roads set I will add one else I will add zero then I will visit the neighbors of my current node right if the parent and the current neighbor is equal I will just continue else I will visit that particular neighbor by making the current node as the parent and the current node as the current neighbor right I will do DFS on this so initially I will pass the current node I will start from zero right then the parent of zero will be negative one since zero doesn't have any kind of parent since it is the end node so something like the end node right then finally i will return the result variable right also i have done a small mistake in the code the current node now it will be the current neighbor and the parent will be the current node right i think it's fine now let's run the code So the time complexity is order of n and space is order of n space, right? Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.